Welcome to Recharge with Richardson, five minutes of hope and inspiration every Monday and Thursday. And now, here is today's episode. Hello, welcome back to another episode of Recharge. <sighs> when was the last time you got angry? Really angry. Was it today? Yesterday? Or maybe you are one of those who always is angry. Well, you're not alone. Uh, anger is a human response to things that we like. Human response to injustice. Human response to... Um, violations, human response to um, circumstances that we personally disagree. And even though anger is an important part of our own self-preservation, um, anger can be very toxic. Anger can be very damaging. And if it's not controlled properly, uh, it can destroy destroy so many things. It can destroy you physically, mentally, spiritually. It can destroy relationships. It can alienate you and separate you from society and could be deadly. So if we're going to um, control anger and if we are going to be angry and as the Bible says, be angry but do not sin, how do we make sure that when we get angry, we do it in a healthy way? Well, here's uh, some of the counsels from Proverbs. It reminds us uh, about the danger of angry. It says, a hot-tempered person starts fights. Um, I, I do have some issues at times with, angry, with anger. Uh, maybe you relate with me. Uh, but... It's better to be a cool-tempered person because a cool-tempered person um, is able to uh, bring resolutions to problems and instead of dividing relationships, it brings relationships together. So let me let you go with just about eight things that you could do uh, if you often get angry and you later on regret uh, because you said things that you don't want to say, you um, uh, broke things that you don't want to break, and worse, you punched um, people that you didn't want to punch at the end of the day. Um, so here are eight things that you want to keep in mind. Number one, you have to recognize the signs of yourself. You need to know yourself. When you, how do you know that you are getting angry? And because if you if you don't know the signs uh, that you are getting angry, uh, then you will always react almost without reasoning, without thinking. So learn to know how. What are the changes in your uh, temperature of your thoughts, of your words, of your heart, uh, the speed uh, of your emotions. Um, what is happening to you? How do you know that you are starting to get angry? Number one. Number two, um, work out uh, in recognizing why are you getting angry? Why am I getting angry? Um, and sometimes even when you answer that question, you may pause and calm yourself right away because you say, why am I getting angry about this? This is no reason for me to get angry. So you need to answer that question almost immediately. Why am I getting angry? Number three, uh, it's important that if you are really getting and you know you're about to lose control, um, have something to, to doodle or jot down um, some of the feelings. I'm feeling angry, I'm feeling angry, I'm about to punch somebody, I'm about to say something that I don't want to say. You know, write it down and you'll be surprised that letting that anger be released through your hands on paper 
it really works out. If you never tried it, try it because it really works. Um, there's a basic one, and you probably heard this one before. You need to start counting. Counting until you sense that the anger is being subjugated or under control. Some people count on 100. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And you'll be surprised. You count and something is, by getting your mind off the issue that you are angry about, because you're counting, you need to think about the numbers. What's num what comes after five, it's six. What comes after 20, 21, right? Just the fact that you're counting, it helps. Um, a lot, great deal. Uh, perhaps you need to pause. Press pause, pause. How do you pause? Well, uh, you need to perhaps get away. Uh, get away from the moment, from the place, from the words, from what you're writing, from what you're reading, uh, from what you're hearing. Uh, just pause, because if you feel that this is not working, like number one, two, and three, and four is not working, then pause, go for a walk, Take a shower, change the um, environment that you're in. Um, and by doing a pause, meaning you're getting away from the circumstances and situation you're finding yourself in. Move. It is very good to move. Move around. Uh, uh, just get up, walk, fresh air. Um, and uh, perhaps if you feel like punching, uh, find uh, that punching bag. Uh, find that pillow that you can punch and have maybe those uh, stress-free uh, balls that you can squeeze. Do something with your body. And, you know, talk to someone. Someone, of course, someone that is not involved uh, or the reason of your anger. Because uh, perhaps at that moment is not the best way to talk to them. But just talk to someone. Tell them I'm really, really angry right now with or for this reason. And hopefully that person that you talk to can just give you some sense and not join you in the anger. And lastly, uh, just take some time to pray. Time to relax. Do something that will relax you. Sing. Might not feel like singing, but just hum something, something soothing. Um, listen to some music uh, and, and, and just Prayer. Prayer, I find that prayer is a very, very comforting thing when my heart is troubled with the anger. All right. So I hope that this is helpful. I hope that you find these little tips just um, ready for you to uh, cool off. And um, I hope that uh, for the next time when you feel in anger coming to you, maybe at least one of these tips will be helpful and you will um, keep your sanity and your cool and your relationships. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for the gift of um, peace. We need peace. And when anger comes, help us to manage it in such a way that is uh, healthy and is productive. And um, we are able to control um, ourselves and the circumstances that um, are a cause of our anger. We, above all, we pray that the Holy Spirit continues to uh, guide our thoughts and our feelings. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, I hope you have been recharged until we meet again. Thank you for joining us for Recharge with Richardson. Don't forget to join us for our next episode. And until then, may God fill you with joy and peace and hope.